instead of plugging this jumper battery into the wall using uh, AC power, I'm charging it with this 15 watt solar panel and I am using a charge regulator that I put together with a LM317 adjustable voltage regulator and this is the LM317 I'm just clipping on the clip here because I have not used I have not hooked up a heat sink to it it gets a little uh, hot when um, when you are regulating the voltage from like 22 volt down to about 13 or 14 volts so that's why I have that clip there now um, because this is an adjustable regulator you can set the voltage to anywhere from 1.25 to like 30 volts over 30 volts or something so I just set it to about 13.6 and the charging will pretty much stop at 13.6 volt it, it won't go higher than 13.6 volt and actually it is in a way better than using a solar charger like this a solar charger like this is designed for lead acid battery like a car battery or a deep cycle battery and the stop charge voltage is about 14.4 14, 14 volt and float charge is about 13.6 volt for a sealed battery like this the float charge should not be higher than 13.2 volts so that's why I think this regulator is actually better it doesn't do a float charge the charge rate that you set it at at 13 say 13.4 volt or 13.2 volt that that's the voltage that it will charge to uh, it doesn't have like a like a setting for float charge um, but like I said uh, this type of battery you should charge it only to 13.2 and unless you can open this up and make the adjustment inside then it's probably better just to use this and especially if I'm just using a solar panel it's kind of like it regulates itself in a way because the sun is only going to be out for like a few hours after that, uh, no matter where you set your charging, you're not going to get any charge because because the sun will go down. So if you need something that will work without grid power, this LM17 you can put together for a couple of dollars and you won't overcharge your jumper or booster battery. You'll keep it at uh, whatever setting, if you set the LM317 to 13.2, that's where it'll, it'll keep it and no higher. Alright, thanks for watching. Okay, I'm just going to draw a diagram of the LM317 pinouts and the connections uh, for my regulator. This is the 10K part. 10K. The LM317T can handle up to 1.5 amp. There are other versions that can handle um, maybe like 500 amp or 1 amp. But this is the one that I'm using because my solar panel is only 1 amp. So this can safely handle it. You need to connect a heat sink to it so it doesn't overheat. And there are three pins, one, two, three and I connected a 180 ohm resistor between pin 2 and 3. One is the positive in and two is the positive out and three is the adjust pin 
or the ground pin. And the, the um, pin 3 is connected. I connect it this way to the middle of the 10K part. The adjust. And then this would be to ground. Right? So that's all you need. You need your incoming power source whether it be a solar panel or your power bank or whatever and this would be your positive out and when you turn the part the voltage changes and uh, the lower setting is about 1.25 volt and you can adjust the voltage to uh, 30 volts um, actually, this is not a voltage booster, rather um, this is uh, a buck converter, if, if you want to call it that way. So, yeah, that's, that's a simple connection. You can put this on a perforation board, breadboard, whatever, um, and then um, hook up the wiring and, and you're good to go. Yeah, what else uh, I need to say, yeah, um, yeah, the more voltage that you regulate, the more heat this will generate. If you are using like, like an 18 volt solar panel and you're using this to charge a USB device and set it to 5 volt, then this will get pretty hot because your, your incoming is 18 volt. If your incoming is about 12 volt to charge a 5 volt, then this won't be as hot. And this can be, you can make this for a couple of dollars. And you can actually buy ones that are made for maybe less than three dollars. So uh, this is just if you want to experiment to make your own. Uh, like I said, you can buy one, a fancy one with all the with the uh, AC uh, transformer and a plastic case for like $15 or so on eBay. Alright, thanks for watching.